I'm Ted from Everything Attachments and we're here to show you the Fred Kane Field Cultivator. Uh, this is different than your regular garden cultivator. This is really meant for fields, rough terrain, tearing down uh, plants or gardens that had grown, anything like that, or loosening up old ground that, that's been really packed tight and you just want to rip it up. So these shanks here are really heavy duty compared to a standard cultivator. They're spring loaded so if you hit a really big rock stump or something like that under it, they'll fold back and re-trip automatically without having to tear anything up or replace anything. So we're going to rip this garden that's been fixed here um, and it'll be going deep because it's in pretty loose ground and then we're going to rip a place over here beside like you would normally be in a hard field or something. So through the garden here where it's been cultivated and all, you probably won't see any of the springs stretching or tripping because it's been loosened up with a turning plow earlier. When we do over here beside us in the really hard dirt, you probably will see them springing a little bit. But that levels everything out. You can take the center one out and cultivate your crop like a cultivator, but then you can do a really rough field also. Okay, with a field cultivator, using it in really hard ground, this is hard clay, it's packed good. One thing, a, a field cultivator, to really get it deep like you think you want it, it takes a lot of horsepower to pull it. This is a fairly lightweight tractor, this is a seven shank ripper. If it's pulling too hard and your tractor's spinning, what you can always do is drop off the two outside uh, rippers. Whether you bought a nine, wanted to go to a seven, really probably this would pull a five shank with no problem, as deep as you want to go. We'll see what it does with a seven. If it pulled too hard, we could simply take two of these shanks off. There's so many bolt holes in here, you have almost an infinite amount of spacing to space them any way you like. Okay, Peanut, give it a try in that hard ground. So you can see the springs, I see the tines coming back already. Uh, between that wire grass and this hard red clay that hasn't been broken, uh, the springs are letting the uh, tines come back a little bit, just like if it were hitting a rock or something. Sometimes it takes two passes to get a really good broken ground and ground that's not been broken. So this is a good way to aerate your field and get it cultivated, get a lot of the trash out of it.